Alright, hi everybody. Today we're in the village of Kazinungi and we are here with Pole Malingi, uh, Patrick and Mombeki from CR Hope Foundation. And uh, today we came here to see how clean energy is being made, actually, which is a very exciting project for us. And so we wanted to talk to these wonderful people to understand, you know, how they came up with this idea, why they think biocharcoal is a great idea and how it impacts their community. Yeah, um, Patrick Kondanyambu. I'm the facilitator of the six schools. Uh, I formed six schools that we call it field, farmers' field school. So I have six groups of 30. Uh, I'm just training them basically on maize agronomy. Yeah, yeah the, the rotor project, we were, we were uh, when we were dealing with the, the dispensary, we invited them to share ideas with them. So. We, they told us to make an, a, a small group that we call RCC, Rotary Community Corps. So here in Kazinuni, we have the Rotary Community Corps working. I'm a member of that team. Mm -hmm. So uh, after that, after we did the, with the dispensary, then they are just doing the medical camps each and every, every year. So we are, uh, they, are, they are the ones who mentor, mentor us. Uh, and for the biochar uh, because when we get money for the community, they'll just chip in and offer uh, or get school fees for their for their for their children. So uh, we just minimize the problems of you know, or, you know, chasing of uh, chasing of money to pay school fees, and the, the the dropouts will be minimal yeah, because they have the money to pay the school fees. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, at first they saw us as we were joking, but now. They see that we are improving because they buy liquids from here for their cooking. They are just taking the leaves, then um, burning using furnace. Then after after that, they have a motor pounding the the the, 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 the biochar. Mm. Then after that, they are mixing with the stick liquid that is molasses. Mm. Yeah. After that, they are making the. Yeah. They are just using their hands, pressing using the pipe. We started this project by making bands from the, the leaf, dry leaves. We, we learned this from, the, from people from Exeter University. They are the ones who, who brought us this whole project and they taught us how to make it. But still, we have not come to a conclusion because we have been trying this for quite a long time, but we had not, we have got no, we have not gone, come to the end of it. Are you getting me? That's why we are happy to see you. We know that you are going to help us improve our program. We hope to change our lifestyles after selling the briquets. So we're proud of the Balisma project for empowering us on how to make briquettes. Do you think it's a positive future for biocharcoal replacing the normal charcoal? Yeah, because when we continue on falling, yeah, falling these, these trees, uh, we'll make a, a desert here in Kenya. So we have to to, to, to improvise another way, yeah, not cutting trees every now and then. So when you introduce this biochar, uh, things will be go will, will be good because the climate change will be minimal here. Yeah, so I will, you have to you know to get that uh, mechanism of bringing this biochar in our our place here. Mm -hmm. In yeah. terms of properties, can the biocharcoal be better than uh, normal charcoal? Burn for longer, for example, or less? Yeah, for the biocharcoal, it, uh, it burns longer than the normal charcoal. Yeah, and, and produces less smoke. Uh, no carbon. Yeah. So, how many families are using charcoal as a percentage in this area of Mombasa? Let's say, is it uh, 50, 60, 80 percent, or yeah, uh, 60 percent they are using charcoal. Okay. Yeah. What is normally the consumption uh, per family uh, of charcoal every month? Let's say, how many kgs do you think that they buy? Yeah, maybe per day they have to. Uh, for, the, uh, for the normal family, they have to get three kilogram uh, daily. daily. Yeah, three kilogram daily. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
thank you very much. Do you have any, any message to send to the people uh, from Rotary uh, that they're going to watch this on uh, Monday? Yeah, the message is that uh, uh, I wanted them to be our mentors. When you pass the message there, we invited them to be our mentors here. Anything they can pass to us, every, uh, every good message, we are inviting them to come here and, and feed us with the information. Your message to uh, Rotarians in Dubai and uh, how you're involved in all this, what you've done for the region in terms of participation in many projects. Um, in Rotary, this is one of our goals in uh, community development and economic empowerment. So it's a good initiative which helps to improve and support because you can see we are going to make their livelihood much more better. He knows that we are giving them the money, but we are improving on their skills. So we are teaching how to fish. We are not doing just giving them fish. Uh, so it's be a good initiative for them, and that will be an ideal way of uh, doing the community in a rotary way. So this is a, a very, good, very good initiative. Thank you very much. And you are part of the which club? Uh, I'm the, from the Rotary, Rotary, Rotary Club of Dar es Salaam, uh, Oster Bay, mm -hmm. which is in Dar es Salaam. I'm also from the Rotary Club of Zanzibar Stone Town, which okay. is also in Zanzibar. Okay. 